Let her put it down, let her put it down. Oh, that's exactly what I love. Oh, how lovely are the flowers. Sean's definitely pulled it out of the bag with the dress, flowers and the car. Well done, Sean. She just run off now. Yeah, just forget about it all now. We've got oh, a beer each. We've, had a beer. we've got a bit of cash. We've got a bit of cash. Just go and get the bus and go on. Take the cake with us. That was good cake. Yeah, we'll take the cake. We'll go we'll do sneaking through the back, get the cake and leg it. To the airport. To the airport, get a flight. Laura's always wanted to get married in grand style, in a country manner. Are we going to the airport? Am I getting married abroad? What will she make of her hotel by the airport? We really are getting quite close to the airport now. We're literally driving into it. Maybe if all the sod's away, then we're on a honeymoon. Yeah. Try not to cry. Does that mean we're here? Am I getting married in there? Well, there's loads of people standing that side. No! This is lovely. I can't believe this. Oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> Short time, boys. You are. Take a deep breath, Laura, you'll be fine. Sean, will you take Laura to be your lawful wedded wife? I will. Laura, will you take Sean to be your lawful wedded husband? I will, definitely. I, Laura, do take thee, Sean, to be my lawful wedded husband. That's lovely, thank you. Do we have some rings, gentlemen? I give you this ring... As a symbol... As a symbol... Of my commitment... Of my commitment... To our marriage. To our marriage. That's fabulous. Thank you. And it fits. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah? Yeah. I promise to love. I promise to love. Cherish. Cherish. Honour and respect you. Honour and respect you. From this day forward. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Yay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is now my great pleasure to declare you both to be husband and wife together. <laughs> Congratulations. You have to take it serious. I know, yeah. No more drinking now, eh? Uh. No, I'm just 
we was wrong today and probably because he's proved us he's done a great job in it. I'm really, really proud of him, yeah. I'm just absolutely amazed. How he's done all this, I've no idea. <gasps> Go. Oh my god. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done anything differently. Not a thing. You've probably done it better than I would have done it. That's a good achievement, isn't it? it? Is. So can you all stand and raise a glass to the married couple? <laughs> To Mr. and Mrs. Openshaw. Mr. Openshaw. Thank you. Thanks. It's been the hardest three weeks of my life, but as soon as I see you, I thought it's worth it. A round of applause to the bride and groom. Thank you. I'm so proud of them, all three of them. I think they've worked really hard. You can't be any more pleased than what I'd probably be at this point. I, I hope he takes one thing out of it. He's more intelligent than what people think. Everyone's star. these guys don't know what they're doing. They're not going to do well. And then when they've come here today, they've been like, wow, I don't believe it. So yeah, I'm pleased. That's, that's the satisfying thing about it all, that we know that we've done all right. He sort of opened my eyes to the, the fact that, yeah, I can make decisions and I can stand on my own two feet and I can get things done. It makes me realise that you're capable of a lot more yeah. than i probably ever give you credit for. Did you get Carla Lilies because you know they're my favourite? No. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? Not because they're my favourite. No. Did you get Lily of the Valley in my mum's corsage because you know it's my favourite? I don't know what Lily of the Valley is. <laughs> I just said to the, the man in the flower shop. Right, well, we I need to roses. rewind then because I've been saying all day how you've done things perfectly because I love them and maybe it's just you've got lucky. Yeah, I think. Yeah, talk about luck. I have been lucky. 